So work energy and power pop, pop quiz one. The first one, the equation is used to find the change in gravitational potential energy. What's the formula for gravitational potential energy? It's MGH. So we need the mass, we need the gravity, and we need the change in the height. So one should be the mass, another one should be a gravitational field strength because it is M, G, and H or delta H means like change in the height, change in the levels that is called delta H. So that's why option A should be the right answer for this. In question to state the principle of uh, conservation of energy, what is principle of conservation of energy? The energy cannot be created. Nor be destroyed. So we cannot create energy, we cannot destroy energy. What will happen? It changes from one form to another. So energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but only thing what happened, it changes from one form to another. That, that's the principle of conservation of energy or law of conservation of energy. In part B, a wind turbine has a maximum output of 1.8 megawatt. It's a unit of power. The turbine operates as a maximum four hours. Define the unit kilowatt hour. So how, how we define kilowatt hour first, what is a kilowatt hour? Kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. And what does it mean? It means like it's the energy transfer in one hour. Like how much like energy transfer in one hour when the power is one kilowatt or at a rate of one kilowatt. So what is the meaning of kilowatt hour? Or you can also say one kilowatt hour. So one kilowatt hour means, or kilowatt hour means it is, it is unit of energy, which shows that one kilowatt power transfer in one hour. Because the energy is power multiplied by time. So when we have power one kilowatt and uh, the, it for one, like one kilowatt rate of energy transfer is one kilowatt or power is one kilowatt. For one hour, we call energy as one kilowatt hour. That's a standard definition of kilowatt hour. Calculate the energy produced by a wind turbine operating at a maximum power for four hours. Give your answer in kilowatt hour. So whenever you're solving a question in physics, you first thing is always write a formula because one mark is for writing a formula or showing a substitution. We have the power given in the question. What, what's the power given in the question? That is 1.8 mega. What does mega stands for? Mega means like 10 power six. So we can say, the power is 1.8 into 10 power, but we want to convert uh, like megawatt into kilowatt. So what actually like, because the unit conversion is important as we want the kilo, the answer in kilowatt hour. So if we convert, for example, if we were having a megawatt and we want to convert into watt, what we do, we multiply by 1 million like 10 power six. But if we have megawatt and we want to convert into kilowatt, so what we have to do, we have to multiply by 1000 or 10 power three. So first this megawatt, we have to convert into kilowatt. So to convert into kilowatt, we have to multiply by 1000. So this will become 1800 because it was 1 1.8. So we multiply by 1000. So it become 1800 kilowatt. So this will be 1800 kilowatt. And the duration, as I mentioned, for four hours, so multiply by four. So 1800 multiplied by four, that will give us 7200 kilowatt hour. So the power is in kilowatt and the time is an hour. So we get the energy in kilowatt hour. 
Is it uh, clear, this one? Then radiation from a sun is a main source of energy from most uh, state two energy resources that are not due to the radiation of the sun. So yes. we have different energy resources are there. Geothermal is one. Geothermal, the energy, heat energy of the earth, uh, the core of the earth, that is not because of the sun. Same way we have nuclear. Nuclear is not due to the sun and we also have the tides, the tidal energy, that's also not because of the sun. So we don't have to write all of them, we just have to write any Two. So this was uh, work energy and power, uh, pop quiz one.